thank you for joining me. These YouTube clips are a labor of love, and I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do making them. The purpose is to help open up some doors, educate, but if they don't resonate with you, let them go and move on to the next. I hope you will sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Debbie writes, what are your thoughts about Ouija boards? Don't do it. That's my thought and that's it. The reason being is they are portals for the part of the spirit world that could give you a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. I, oh, I heard a story about these kids that put together the Ouija board and used it and at the end in the evening they were just so freaked out by it that they actually put it out into the garbage pail. And the next morning, that Ouija board was back on the kitchen table. Yikes. And the thing of it is, is when you conjure, because that's what you're doing using this Ouija board, you have no idea who is coming in to give you the answers. You do not know if they are of the right intention. Because this is a playful game that is mass-produced. Now, certainly there are people that have boards, they call them spirit boards, but usually they make it them themselves. I know somebody who made one that was, they burnished it and they, they, they finished it off and it was so beautiful and their intention was the highest, the purest and the best and that they used that for readings. And also too, they also knew when it wasn't right, they did not accept it. So I'm telling you, if you want to learn about the spirit world, do not use a Ouija board. Find a reputable psychic or medium who can help you. Stay away from trouble.